and here we've got the new GLE 450D loving this new feature on my phone where if I'm looking at something you can see the outside and I can zoom in this thing is gigantic it's competition to the X6 this is a facelift few touches new bumper new lights 450D I'll give you the power on this when we get back as I take it on a drive and as you can see it's quite a good looking thing guys very 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 good looking very powerful Carl took it through its paces properly and I'll get a stint to drive it just now that's the interior as you can see because this is the coupe um, that's slightly slanted and as you can see over there I love the steering I love it's quite a nice looking thing so that's just a quick walk about big wheels 20 inch wheels 275 50s big brakes equally big brakes that work quite well these side steps I'm not sure about I wish they deployed um, at 2.3 million I want shit like that to happen recording perfect so we are in the new GLE I don't think I've ever driven the coupe I think I've ridden as I hey okay here we go I think I've driven um let's just make sure it's safe to go first okay I think we're good um, I think I've driven in the GLE SUV. This is an SUV as well, just the coupe version because it competes with the um, EX6 as it were. And immediately at 2.3 million, 2.340, oh, 900 or 500, you can distinctly feel that it's a significantly bigger car. And power, I'm going to give you the power figure because they were supposed to give us power figures there, but the slide went by too fast. Yo, 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 yo guys. This can't be less than 700 newton meters. Ah, don't hold it, don't worry. It won't do anything, it just stabilizes it. <laughs> so immediately, luxury. Ah, man, it's opulence. It's opulence, yes, as Brennan would put it. It's opulence of the highest order. And listen, what is impressive about a car this size in terms of the drive is the handling. I mean, it's a huge lump. It really is a huge lump. It's like driving a very fast, comfortable marshmallow, but it doesn't feel like it. This is the 450D, and these brakes work. I was actually quite skeptical about the tires because it's got 20 tires that feel incredibly comfortable. And the engine, I really want to know what power this making. This is making. So first impressions. Um, the interior, they've done it very well, very very well. There's leather everywhere. The seats are pretty cozy. The sound system and the, the, the layout, oh my goodness. The sound system is phenomenal. Kyle from Car has got a mix here that's been banging. Oh man, it's got classics, dance classics, dance like If you've ever been to a club, to a club, you'll know. But if you've never been, oh shame man, people. So I'm tuning now. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Yes, man. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. The saddle in me has just come out. Ah, yo. Hey, there we go. Okay, guys. I'm going to come back to you and rate the car. I need to drive now. And then I'll tell you. But listen. Overall, we are impressed. We are very, very impressed. With the pulling power. With the ride quality. Listen, you can see that this is a luxury SUV by far. It's, it's really, really impressive in all aspects. Um... There are other things we'll look at when we drive the GL Coupe. I'll probably be calmer when I drive the GLE, the GLE normal SUV, and we take it there. So for now, we're gonna cut it, cut, and then we'll conclude when we get to the other point. Press the red button, stop. So as I said, I'll continue this in the GLE 300 when I'm calmer. We're now on the N9, heading to Lovain for lunch. <clears throat> I've been driving for probably 40 k's, so about 40 k's. 15 k's away um, first thing to note that Geely Coupe how it absorbs bumps in the suspension there's something about it I asked this question if it's got that um, magic ride body control or something or whatever that Mercedes Benz used to pride itself on and you can see this is at 1.9 million and the other cars are 2.3 million and this is a 300 deep with 198 oh. kilowatts and with Rovers in the GLC last week Friday or two oh. weeks ago and in that trend, in the GLC, it was very impressive. It was on the go. In here, you can feel that it's holding weight. So, 
there are significant differences whereby we didn't have to make that much effort when you're driving in the GLE Coupe, the 450D, as opposed to this on the other hand. So, on a scale of 10, the car scores a healthy 8.5 because it's just luxury and it's very hard to fault. This one on the other hand, just because it doesn't have the suspension, it's not a bad car, but you do feel the difference. Whilst the other car does a lot for you, even though it feels significantly bigger, but the engine sorts that out, all that out. So yeah, 8.5, like, subscribe, tell us what you'd like to know. That's us.